Hey everyone. Oh, like my title says ghosts. Are they real or are they fake? No, I'm joking. So much I need to do this real quick. I hate this cape. I'm joking, I love this cape. But um this one takes off. This one do this. But anyways. I have been watching like well I watch, I just recently watched this one video here on YouTube by a, another YouTuber and <clears throat> I'm not gonna mention any names of who posted the video or the person who made the comment. But um the person who made the comment saying, Oh, it's not ghost, it's demons really are you seriously going to say it's demons that are making shit float really a demon that makes no sense because yes i know there are people who there, i know there are dumb fucks out in the world saying Oh, this is evil, that is evil, blah, 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 blah. And there are going to be people who say that tattoos are evil and that people who have tattoos are satanic worshippers and all this other bullshit. But really? Seriously? You can say that? Personally, my belief, I don't think tattoos are evil. I have four of them. Two of you. Two of them. You can see right now my tri -quitch up. No, that's my hot horse. I, the camera makes it all weird my triquitra and my eye of Horus. so and of course as you tell by my darling lovable cape that I am a wicked so therefore yeah I believe in ghosts I believe in spirits I also believe that there are negative entities out there that would like to fuck with us and possess us but I wouldn't want to call that negative entity a demon, per se, because it may not be a demon, just a negative entity that just wants to sit there and fuck with you. But on another note, with, um, say if, like, shit's moving, like, say, I don't know, you have like a little music box like this and it goes just floats across the sky or kind of just floats across the room and just sits itself like right here in front of you that's necessarily not a demon could be a poltergeist poltergeists like to move shit personally Personally, I've never seen anything like move or get moved in front of my eyes before. But I have dealt with spirits before, or ghosties, or whatever the fuck you want to call them. I've dealt with ghosts pretty much ever since the age of 12. So, um,. I'm 25 now. Yeah. 13 years of um, dealing with the paranormal. Yeah, I kind of think I should know what I'm talking about by now. I know there are people who know more than me that are out there, like, say, like Jason Hall, or wait, Jason Hawes. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Jason from. Um, Ghost Hunters and Grant Wilson, also from Ghost Hunters, they know more than what I do because they are older than me. They know more about the paranormal than what I, what I do as of right now. But, um... Not everything is demonically based. To me, as I believe, I don't think there are such things as demons. 
if they if there are such thing as demons they're just really negative entities that are supercharged on nothing but negative energy that's pretty much all a demon is to me is a supercharged negative energy entity that's all they are to me I'm a Wiccan there's no such things as demons there's no such thing as hell that's what I believe though that's just me I'm a weirdo but I enjoy being weird that's just me so anyways that's just me I'm goofy I've been dealing with ghosts ever since the age of 12 like I said even then I wasn't scared. I'm not even scared now. I would be scared if like, say, a very negative inner en entity decided to throw a knife at my head. Then yeah, I would be scared. And yeah, I would probably be freaking the fuck out too. But, there's no use of being scared of something as simple as a child spirit. Or an adult spirit why be scared of the unknown when you can actually sit there and learn about it so. why I've been into the unknown ever since the age of four don't ask me how long that is I'm, I suck at math I'm like 25 now so that's several years of being into the unknown. Excuse me, you know, like vampires, werewolves, that sort of thing. Halloween. So, yeah. I, I don't know what possesses people to say Oh, it's demons or blah 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 and all this other crap. It's like, I don't understand it. I will never understand it because I have always had an interest in like things like the paranormal and crypt <coughs> um, cryptozoology, which is pretty much cryptozoology, which you all should know. I don't know if all of you know this, but some of us, some people know some of us. Some people do know what cryptozoology is, and they're also cryptozoologists, which are people who um, study cryptids, which is pretty much an undiscovered animal, you know, like Bigfoot or Mothman or Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Um, Nessie, or what she's called, the Loch Ness monster. I call her Nessie. There's Nessie, Bigfoot, and the Chupacabra. All three of those are, um, those three are all called cryptids because they're, they're unknown to, um, that area. I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but whatever. Um. Yeah, I'm into that shit. Yeah, I'm a weirdo. Even though technically I do not believe in Bigfoot, but I do believe in the Loch Ness Monster and the Chupacabra and Mothman and the Jersey Devil, but I do not believe in Bigfoot. That's bad, right? I guess I'm just your average goof nut. And there's also a lot of people who out there who don't believe in Bigfoot, and there's also who people who believe in Bigfoot. I don't blame them for believing in Bigfoot. Yeah, that's just not my cup of tea. Because it's... My viewpoint on Bigfoot is that it's been... It could, he's been faked so many times before. And it's kind of hard to believe something that's been faked. 
so many times and has been proven to be faked among other things the same thing with um, extraterrestrials or aliens I don't believe in aliens a lot of that has been faked and of course with crop circles aliens and crop circles can be faked personally in my eyes but that's what I think there are people out there who believe in aliens I do not blame you guys one bit more power to you if you believe in aliens I just don't that's me I guess I'm a little weird because I don't believe in aliens I don't believe there's such thing as aliens there always could be I'm not saying there it can't be proven that there are such things as aliens same thing with Bigfoot I'm not saying it can't be actually scientifically and genetically proven but I would have to see real genuine proof on the aliens and Bigfoot but that's me Yes, I know I'm smoking on camera, but whatever. At least I've gone, gotten back my ass back onto drinking water after my um, Looney Tunes episode this past weekend on a caffeine high because I drunk nothing but pop this past week, or I should say my Looney Tunes episode on Saturday or Sunday on Facebook. So, yeah. Stupid people piss me off. That's pretty much what it boils down to. Pretty much this is what this video boils down to. Stupid people, stupid, fearful, ignorant people piss me off. That's pretty much what I'm here to talk about. Stupid, ignorant people piss me off. It's, no wait. I take that back. They annoy the ever living hell out of me because how they come off about things, about certain things, and going like, oh, this is evil, blah, blah, blah. How they just portray themselves as being so ignorant and so fearful of stuff. It's like, how can you be so fearful when? There are things in this world you cannot fucking explain. Like aliens or Bigfoot. You cannot explain that shit away. Or ghosts. You can't explain it, but yet it's still there. It's the unknown. Yeah, this world is scarier than fuck. And there's so many things in this world that could have a potential to either go one way or another and there's so many situations where it could go be where it could go to the positive or to the negative and it could literally either be an enlightening experience or an experience that totally fucks you up mentally physically and emotionally and you're fucking screwed in the ass without any loop so, yeah, and this video is going to be long again. Yeah, this is my second long video, you guys. I'm so sorry. I ramble when I get like this. And I've been drinking nothing but water. Well, almost water. I've had like one can of pop today. But, yeah, I've had one can of pop today. Good. Yeah, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. I love you guys. And it's like, I don't want to force my views onto you guys, but I'm just, I'm right now pretty much, I'm pulling um, an, an Onisi on right now, sharing my views with you guys. But I thought, since, yeah, do a video like sharing my views with you guys and it would be a nice change for you guys. Than me being like, oh, hey, my boyfriend, blah, 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 I'm doing this, or whatever. Um, um, I thought it'd be a nice change for me to sit here and 
actually sit here and talk to you guys and be like, Hey, I love you. You're my, like, you're the coolest fucking people ever. But, um, yeah, ignorant, fearful people, I really do not like them. It, the people who are so ignorant and so fearful, who don't want to change who they are, or learn, a bit, learn something, or to improve their knowledge, to edu to educate themselves. Usually I say educate. I'll say educate for the fuck of it. Who do not educate themselves. I should say educate. Who do not educate themselves to the point of where they are not fearful and so ignorant to where they are no longer fearful or ignorant about a situation or a um, viewpoint like um, just last year on Christmas a 15 year old I think teen, a 15 year old teenager I think it was I think he was male I think the teenager teenager was a male and he got beat up to the point where he died from his injuries. And the reason why his relatives beat him the fuck up is because they thought he was a witch or into witchcraft or a sorcerer. They beat him and his sister up because they thought because their relative these two people thought that these that the 15 year old boy and his sister were sorcerers or into witchcraft and these relatives beat the ever-living shit out of the teenage boy the 15 year old on Christmas Day because of ignorance and fear people like that piss me off and I have a very low tolerance for people who are like that. Who just decide to beat the ever living shit out of somebody just because they think they are something that they may or may not be. And this was in London, England, of all places. Sorry, my nose is just. <clears throat> and that pissed me off to all high heaven and back and I'm like seriously these stupid fucking idiots are gonna sit there and beat up their relative just because they think that they may or may not be this something that they may or may not be <clears throat> I don't get it I, I don't get it. it pisses me off really it does it pisses me off but I'm gonna stop there but whatever that's just me I don't get all pissed off again insert yeah I'm just gonna stop there oh. oh I hope you guys are having a good day seriously I do I really hope you're having a really kick-ass day and I hope you had a better weekend than what I did weekend that I did than what I did because you know I had a lot of shit pissing me off Sunday, and I wanted to yell at people. I wanted to throw shit at people, so people, I, this is the reason why I do not get along with most people, because they annoy me. I'm joking. I get along with most, almost everybody. Well, yeah, I get along with pretty much everybody, except for the idiots who piss me off. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go now before I piss somebody off here on YouTube. So, yeah, that's me pissing off the religious right since 1986. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>